Hello everyone, I'm Jim Wei Liang. I'm going to present our work, SimArc, Learning Robust Representations from Simulation for Trajectory Prediction. This is a joint work with Lu Jiang from Google Research and Professor Alexander Hoffman from Carnegie Mellon University. In this paper, we study the problem, trajectory prediction in unseen cameras. We propose a method called SimArc to train robust models using simulation data. As you can see on the left here, that could generalize to unseen camera viewpoints and scenes. As an example, you can see our testing data includes 45 degree view surveillance video and also drone videos as well as dashboard cameras. Our in contributions are as follows. We study a new setting of future trajectory prediction. The model is trained once and used on any unseen video camera. We propose a new and effective approach to augment the representation of trajectory prediction models using multi-view simulation data. Ours is the first work on future trajectory prediction to demonstrate the efficacy of training on 3D simulation data and establish new state-of-the-art results on three public benchmarks. Our model is trained only on simulation data anchored from real-world videos. As you can see on the left here is the real world video from the Wi-Red Act V data set. On the right is the reconstructed um, scenarios in simulation. Multi-view data is used to train models that are viewpoint invariant. Here it shows the same scene from all four views in the simulation. We propose SimArc to efficiently utilize multi-view simulation data and select the hardest camera view at each training iteration. Here I'm going to present our algorithm. For step one, we reconstruct and generate trajectory from multiple viewpoints. As you can see on the right here, that's from the real world videos. We reconstruct the real world scenario in 3D simulation and then generate trajectory from multiple viewpoints. Step 2. We select the view with the largest loss and generate an adversarial feature sample, as shown in the graph. Step 3. We mix, mix up the adversarial sample and the hardest view sample for training. In essence, the resulting adversarial feature is warped to the hardest camera view by a small perturbation. By defending against such adversarial trajectory, our model learns representations that are robust against variance in camera views. As you can see, we train the model from one domain and then test on three different cameras. For experiments, the Erosion matrix is as follows. We utilize the metric minimum average, minimum average displacement error given k predictions. This is a common uh, matrix used in the literature. For each true trajectory sample i, we select the closest k predictions and then measure its average error as well as final errors. Our model achieves superior performance on three major benchmarks compared to recent popular adversarial learning methods, which includes PGD and FGSM, and also data augmentation method. You can see here, see here the numbers are accuracy in the first column, and then the rest are average displacement errors and final displacement errors. You can see our method achieve the best performance on all three metrics. Experiment 2 is on the Stanford drone dataset. Our model achieved competitive results without any in-domain training data. As you can see in the second to bottom row, and achieves state-of-the-art performance on the Stanford drone dataset with fine-tuning. In the third experiment, we test our model on the Viret at DB dataset. Our model achieves state-of-the-art performance on this dataset with fine-tuning. 
and you achieve competitive performance without fine tuning as well. Here are baseline comparison. The blue heat map is baseline model predictions, and the yellow orange is our model predictions. The green trajectory is the ground truth trajectory during the prediction period. As you can see, our model correctly predicts the turns as well as the length of the future trajectories. Here are the visualization in, uh, on the AlgoWorks data set. Here is the YRED ActiV data set. As you can see, the baseline model predicted the wrong turns. Thank you. To see more, check out our project website, and our code is open source. Thank you.